I've never done anything like this okay. before. Okay. Calm down. Look, I'm kidding. not a cop. I'm not a cop. I'm honey, baby. Mm. I'm something real. Mm. I did it. Love it. Love it. I need it. Mm. I'm on it. Told you. Mm. I'm something real. Oh, it's hot. そうだね。日差しはとても強いから、私の日焼け止めが必要だよ。私の弱点だこの日焼け止めで夏を思いっきり楽しもう Save me a slice. That's good. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's all right. That's good. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, all right. Okay, that's good. That's good. It's it's enough slices. Let me see the product. Is that me? No, no, it's nice. It's so nice. Oh, I've never, I've never looked better. Ooh, where were you? Where were you when it was time for senior photos? Mommy, I don't think it looks good. It is Guy post pick. You look easy to draw. Try. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea why I still have this item in my shop. 
but nobody has bought one since December until the other day. I honestly forgot that it was in my shop and available for anyone to purchase at any time that they wanted, even though I have no idea why anyone would want to buy this monstrosity. Like, if you guys have seen any of my other works before, you know that I'm a good artist and that I can actually draw and paint and stuff. But the reason to why I put this little thing in my store is because it's not supposed to be viewed as art. It's supposed to be viewed as what is that and why would you pay money for it? It's supposed to be a cute, funny, little quirky thing that you put in your house and when people come over, they look at it and be like, oh, what is that? Did your child make that? Or someone else's child, they don't have children and no, I bought it from an actual artist who went to art school. Yes, I went to art school and out of those four years, this is what I came up with. I hope you guys like it. Uh-oh, it's time to publicly humiliate your drawings again. <laughs> Can we get this fucking guy on some Lexapro or something? Perhaps a therapist? Anime, 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 get creative, bitch. I put a lot of work into that little jingle. Uh-oh, we got a car guy. Somebody doesn't like walkable cities. If you're too shy to share your art, at least send me a picture of your toes like this man. Link to my Instagram in my bio to be featured in the next one. Link to my web shop as well to give me money. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Oh man, thank you. thank you. Do you have trouble moistening the panties of the opposite gender? Here's how to pull bitches using your art. I like to open up with a funny little pickup line. Uh, hello, attractive female. Uh, what's the difference between me and my grandfather? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there is no difference. We're both ashy. So if her panties aren't around her ankles at this point, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and show her some of your normal drawings, not the ones of her as a furry. If all of this fails, just go for her sister or mother. All right, goodbye. So a lot of people ask me why I make these little animals committing crimes when I have an art degree. And they wonder why I don't make more educated or complicated works. And I'm like, well, I can do that, but making works like that don't make me happy. When I was in art school, pretty much all of my work that I made was about my trauma. And though making those did help with the healing process, it kind of affected me negatively mentally because I was constantly reminded of that trauma every time I made a piece. And when I was making those, it made me realize what I really wanted to do with my art. I want to make art that makes people happy and that also makes me happy as well. And some of you might be like, well, how could a little tiny animal committing a crime make someone happy? Well, Karen, it does. I've gotten so much love and support from so many people through this platform telling me how much my art makes them happy. People like stupid art that makes them happy, I guess. I'm new. I just moved here from Africa. What? I used to live in Africa, but now I live here. Like, it's pretty simple. So you've actually never been to a real school before? No. Shut up. Excuse me, bitch. Who are you talking to? Shut up. Girl, I ain't even talking. You need to be quiet. Close your mouth. You're like really pretty. Girl, you don't need to lie. I'm over here looking like a whole double-decker biscuit. You think you're really pretty? Regina, I just call myself a double-decker biscuit. What do you mean? Do you agree? Girl, no, I don't. Oh my god, I love your bracelet. What bracelet? Bitch, are you... What? So fetch. What did the little one just say? <laughs> well, it's like slang from England. Have you ever been to England? So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Girl, you... <sighs> Having conversations in the lobby, yeah, too many people want to talk. Sipping on the black and bitter coffee, yeah, I'd rather have the Henny on the rocks. You ride it beside me, your body's so intense.
enticing you got me excited you like it don't you hide it yeah. you know i want to see you don't let your jealousy go run away with all the things i like every time babe i'll take you all the places that you like don't you mind all the girls i'm trying to focus on Just my ties Tell me someone's gone and I can't deny Reminisce of you when we say goodbye We can pull up in the middle of the night Hear the waves at the party Get it started, set a fire, we'll play Get you all up on your own uh, No one got to know you yeah. Don't you let me go For the moment getting close, yeah, yeah You know I wanna see you Don't let you just you're playing 